Hey YouTube, Mike here. So today I have a project that is a couple months in the making. Um, it's a few months ago I made a video on putting my batteries in, house batteries in parallel. Today, and I didn't have a way of charging them on the road, so today I've solved that problem with a battery isolator. So this is what I got for the project. I got 20 feet of 4 gauge cable or wire. I have lugs to attach to the cable. I have a protective tubing to put the cable in, about 12 feet. I figure I'll need a total of maybe 18. Uh, I have a fuse holder and 10 amp fuses. I have 150 amp fuses, A and L fuses, with fuse holder, which I made a mistake on. I thought it was going to come with two fuse holders, and it did not, so I have one coming yet. And then the actual relay. <clears throat> this is a continuous duty relay. It's, I guess, different than the Stinger or the Pack 200s, because this is, like, heavy duty. Uh, the other ones have a tendency, I guess, to burn out because they are not continuous, I assume. So, that's what I have. And I don't know if I'm going to get very far today because it's supposed to be heat index of 100, 90 degree temperatures with high humidity and possible rain. So, But at least I'll, I'll probably get a start on it here. So, here we go. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is called a Cole Hersey relay continuous duty relay it was forty two dollars on Amazon um, I paid about hundred and ten for all of this so this was forty two and the rest seventy bucks for the rest these I bought locally at Walmart this was at Walmart uh, this was at a store for two fifty up two fifty each and this was online for twenty nine thirty eight after shipping this was also Amazon. I believe this was 12 bucks. So yeah, 110 bucks to do everything. Okay, so I want to mount the relay fairly close to the battery because I need wires going to the battery and to the fuse box. Um, so everything I'm doing will be on the left side of the van. Even the wire will run down the left side of the van. So I don't even have to go over here everything will be in this area so I have to attach this somewhere so I will get to that I'm thinking about putting it well first I thought over here by the fuse box there's some pre-existing holes but I want to try to keep it out of the weather as much as I can it is weatherproof but not or it's weather resistant but it's not waterproof really I believe um, and then there's threaded hole down there plus there's a ground wire real close I could attach to because one of these poles has to go to ground these are interchangeable this one is power one is ground one will go to the fuse box it doesn't matter if you which one you use for what these two it also is the same um, it does not matter which one goes to the battery the house battery or the car battery those are interchangeable also so let me figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I decided to go with a pre-existing bolt that was on the frame here. don't know if you can see. There you go. But I only did one side. It's not going anywhere. Um, and it will be grounded not too far away. But, you know, it might get wet here, but I think I might um, construct a cover here so the water will not get in there. Anyway, yeah, that's done. That only took a couple minutes. So I wanted to mention that um, I don't have a lot of tools right now. I sold all my tools. I, I trained to be an aircraft mechanic at one time and got my license, but never got a job doing that, so I sold all my tools. But I did not have cable cutters, so what I ended up using were these weird scissors, and they cut right through it. Could not believe it. 
Anyways, I also wanted to mention this cable is, this 4 gauge cable is, I guess it's not CCA cable, it's OFC, which stands for Oxygen Free Copper. And I think it's like a marine grade cable. It's supposed to be less corrosive, I guess, so, and um, less resistant, maybe. So yeah, just thought I'd mention that. Alright guys, this is my progress so far. Got the relay mounted, got a power wire going through the fuse, out the fuse, and this eventually will attach to the positive side of the car battery. I'm not going to do it now. Um, when I do start, I'm going to take the negative off so I don't have any, so I don't blow myself up, get electrocuted. But I think I'm going to stop for today and finish up tomorrow or the next day when it's cooler. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Oh, I wanted to mention, look at that. I was in the parking lot and come out ten minutes later, someone had hit me. And uh, sorry for the jet. Um, and usually when I run in some place, I have the, the uh, dash cam on. I just leave it on if it's just for 10 minutes. But I didn't this time, so I didn't catch anything on video. Oh, I also wanted to show... I was going to have a sticker made for uh, my logo. And uh, I didn't want to spend the money. And I didn't know if I liked the logo, so I just printed it out on the print in the printer. And I just taped it, taped it to the back of the van with that packing tape. It doesn't look great, but... You know, I, don't, I didn't know if I'd really like a sticker on there, but anyway, just trying it out. So, yeah, we'll get back to this on the next video. Maybe the next two videos. I don't know how long it's going to take me, but this hasn't taken me very long. Half hour for all of this. Put the lugs on. Okay, catch you next time.